and we're live. So here's the rule at, at our house when we had kids like that, um, we would do timeouts if they were like openly bad. I know that kid might be too young, I forget, but uh, and then the, the length of a timeout is generally about a minute for every year old they are, you know, and that's that's about what they can take if they're actively being defiant or bad. That's how really? That's like a, a parent rule? I didn't know that. Yeah, we read it on the internet. It must be right. So, But we just rolled with it for a long time. You know, a minute for every... If they're See, four years parents, old, they might get four minutes of timeout. My parents time didn't put me in timeout much because I would peel the wallpaper off of every corner they put me in. <laughs> <laughs> and it solved the problem. <laughs> That's awesome. They put me in there and they'd be like, Taylor, you just beat your brother up. You sit there for five minutes. They come back and it's ruined. Like a whole <laughs> square meter of the fucking walls ruined. Like, God damn it, Taylor. Taylor's like, they put me in a corner once. I tunneled out. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, uh, I didn't really have too many timeouts. I would lose privileges or like toys and, and like things. And I would definitely get a lot of spankings. Like if I, if oh, I did too. something wrong, it was, um, was going to be a spanking. My, my dad would sort of like just kind of like grab me like by the shoulder and like maybe like slap me on the ass a few times with his hand. My mom, however, being, you know, smaller and weaker, she had to like resort to weapons. She, mm -hmm. She'd arm herself like some sort of mm -hmm. corporal punishment ninja. Like whatever she it would be it might be a belt, it might be two belts. She might go dual wielding. She might get a hanger out and she'd she'd have to chase you cuz I'm not running, you know, you've really got to intimidate me as I'm talking about like 8-year-old me or 10-year-old mm -hmm. me who just has started a fire. You really got to intimidate me to like get me to actually stop and wait for you to come like whip my ass. Like I'm going to be shifty like bobbing and weaving, crawling under beds and stuff. You're really going to have to work for it, mom. So <laughs> That's true. I don't understand why moms went through that much trouble. All they had to do is say, "Go to your room and you wait. You wait till your father gets home." And then it was like, "Oh, I done fucked up. I done goofed. I pushed the limit." And now I'm going to pay the piper. Or at least that's my, how it was for me. Yeah, as soon as I heard family. your dad's coming home, my I mom, knew I was fucked. My mom pulled the wait till dad gets home a couple of times, and then he'd get home, and he had, like, a totally different view on how, like, can yes. you believe it? <laughs> Little Woody knocked over the flower pot, and there was dirt all over the carpet. And he's like, kids do that. You know, like, right. she told, like they just weren't on the same. But yeah, typically, dad, with the benefit I, of a few hours to cool down, you know, it wasn't such a big deal. Yeah, I remember she would say that to me, and I'd be like, good, because he's not fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He'll, like, wait till he gets here and he sets you straight, Mom, because this is insane. <laughs> like, like, you're the nut here. Uh. Like, my dad and I have had many private conversations where he's like, Kyle, you, your mom was crazy, you know? <laughs> uh. I love her, but, you know, you know that, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> With hope. This is the coolest. So, so I don't really punish hope. Uh, at least corporally, you know, I'll yell at her. But uh, Jackie does, and we used to give her the soap. That was our thing, right? When she was like five years old or something, she'd make Hope. I don't want to say so eat soap, but like, like you either put a bar of soap in her mouth and hold it there. And the first time ever, Hope is screaming at Jackie, right? She's just defiant and yelling and holding her ground and being a fucking ginger. And uh, <laughs> she's yelling at, at Jackie. And Jackie had threatened the soap a good, like, 12 times and never followed through on this. <laughs> and, uh, and now Hope thinks that it's all malarkey, that this is never going to happen. And right as she's in mid-yell, like, ah! Jackie, like a ninja, she has, um, uh, like, a soft soap. Like, not a bar, but, like, the liquid soap. And she reaches yeah. in on her tongue and goes, whoosh, right? And coats her tongue <laughs> with soap, uh. right? And, she, and Hope it. is like, ah, and bubbles fly out. And that was the greatest <laughs> thing ever. The bubbles came out and popped in the air. And Hope hated it. And we, we so gave her the soap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She got the soap on and off all the way up through like 12 years old or so. But we tried it on Colin. <laughs> He had the like his his technique was better than Mercus in the wallpaper. He'd just be like, eh, not bad, <laughs> <laughs> like no impact on him whatsoever. He didn't care. No, we, I, I, it's like that scene from so Super Troopers. Troopers. And I had a like, way out of that. I got soaked once in my whole life. I was at my grandparents' house when I was like nine, and they gave me a full bar of Dove soap, and they made me sit in the bathroom by myself, and they said, you better leave this soap, the bar soap in your mouth. If we walk in here and you're, this bar soap isn't in your mouth, you bet your ass you're going to get beat, get a bad spanking. And I was like, okay. Sat there over the next half hour. I ate the entire bar of soap <laughs> out of spite. I ate the whole thing. And when they came in and asked about it, 
I told them I had eaten the soap, and I never got it again. <laughs> it was awesome. rough, but I ate the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I was like, why did you just, my kid, I just a see window. a drink in the liquid there soap? There was an unopenable window, I, and it was a, a big bar. I just had Bathrooms to Bathrooms don't have windows, Kyle. Yeah, shaving it off like a bar of cheese, you know? Just <laughs> very slow process. Oh, that's Not scary. rewarding. That's disgusting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I want to I want to know Drew's history. What, what what was what was the practice with you, Drew? Was it was it timeouts? Was it was it babysitter beatdowns? Like how'd it go down? I had no, I had a hot babysitter, man. I got that was that worked out great. No, I got the spoons. I had my mom's five foot two. I got like you said, I got spoons, bottle, whatever was within reach. I got that, and then by the time I was like thirteen, there were no more spoons in the spoons? house. Like what was that knuckles? Yeah, like spoon, like wooden spoon, like cooking spoons. What you what you had to do with it? Which I got hit with it. A wooden oh, you spoon got doesn't have a bleach. It bashed you with it. Oh, oh no, I got smashed with like utensils, cooking utensils, and then it went to like bottle. Oh, it was it was fun because my mom gets when she gets mad, it's 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 run. That's why I still run a four five forty. So I'm. Yeah. <laughs> mom so gets mad as uh, Were your mom's utensils? Was she using the wooden spoon, or did she have those spoons that were metal with the black plastic coating around it? Because those ones were vicious. So those I got that. After I start the honestly the spoon started breaking like we have no more wooden spoons in the house so then it was metal and actually one actually this is funny in high school one day she got mad and she went up and swung I remember just instinctively you kind of you know tuck and she broke her hand on my forearm <laughs> went into school to drop something off she had a cast on her hand and told everybody in the office I broke her hand so I got called in the office for that one. After that, oh. we started negotiating. Now, and then it was all negotiation. Yeah, I was just was about to point. ask. At what point did, like, at some point, moms can't beat their sons anymore, right? At some point, typically, the sons pass them athletically. Right. Was that the passing yeah. of the torch there? That was, she... The broken hand probably put my mom more toward rhetoric than, uh, than Rwandan <laughs> corporate justice. Nice. Corporate justice. Yeah, it was... <laughs> That was it. Then after that, I started hitting the weights, and then you know it was all good for me. I got my fucking ass beat. So I, 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 I call beat downs. I know What'd you get? Huh? Well, I got the belt. That's what I got. Was it Every mom or grandma? Time. Who it raised grandma. you? My grandparents raised me. That's my grandpa. Where was mom all this time? Was she out and about? My mother. My mother had me when she was sixteen. Uh huh. So she was not really mature enough to actually have a child. So my grandparents took over the responsibility, and by the time my mother got of age, and where she actually wanted me back, or felt like she was, you know, financially secure enough to be able to raise a child, she had another child at this point because my brother's only two years younger than me. Um, I didn't want to go, so she allowed my grandparents to raise me until I was about fourteen. And and then you went with mom. Yeah, well, I went with mom, but my grand my grandmother cheated on my grandfather and left him. And then that just left me with my grandfather, and he was going down in health. Okay. So your mom had you and she was 16 and brother when she was 18? Correct. And that's young. Same dad? No. Oh. Oh, so is your, uh, is your sister your full sister? No. All my, all my siblings are half-siblings. Oh, yeah. Half-siblings, okay. Is your sister a full sibling to your brother? No. Okay. Oh, uh, my mom got three different baby daddies. <laughs> That's nice. I've got a, I've got three different. I've got a half brother and a half sister to go along with my full sister. So, I'm in a slightly similar situation. That's good because you hate your full sister. Maybe the other ones are better. The uh, I they kind of suck too. So I like my half sister. <laughs> so I, I like my half sister. She's she's pretty cool. Um, she's the one who I told the story last week, maybe about like um, how like the guy she married like really like went became like Superman, right. super husband uh -huh. at like eight years old. That she got pregnant right out of high school and like he worked multiple jobs for multiple years and now they like have this whole business together and with daycares and. Uh, so how many they, sisters they, do you have? You basically, won the pussy lottery. <laughs> <laughs> how many sisters do you have? Three. <laughs> I have one sister that's my full right. sister. I have one half sister and I have one half brother. Now the half okay. sister and brother, are they full or are they halves too? To each other. Yeah, yeah, to each other. I think they also have I think they, I think it's three different moms. Uh, my dad's been married three different times. God, this is like a math problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there was babies being had. <laughs> this this oh, ain't the biblical it? times. Casual sex happens. 
So your your father's been married three times. You know that stat where they say half of all marriages end in divorce? Mm hmm It's not actually true. It's it well maybe half of all marriages. I'm not sure I have to think that through. But the deal is that not half of all people who get married have a divorce because a lot of the people that get divorced get several of them. Get multiple divorces, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it might be, I'm making up numbers at this point, but it might be like a third of the people get divorced. It's just some of those are racking up three and and four of them. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are just like chronic divorcers where they just over and over. So Drew got the spoons, Wings got the belt. I got a mixture of implements. It sounds like Mirka was, had to choose between eating household cleaning items and burrowing out the safety. (laughs) I I also got a switch. We had a willow tree in our backyard and those switches were... Were pretty no, terrible. They, also, they, the they spoon. Go, you mean you go pick the switch yourself? Yes. What that kind of like sick my shit grandpa's is that? His favorite stuff. He's like, go yeah. get me a switch, and if you don't get me a good switch, I'm gonna go get the switch. You don't want oh, to go get the switch. Oh, that was that was the worst. I know exactly. You out. couldn't make me do that shit. <laughs> I was not like. Like, as a kid, I remember I've been told to do that shit like three different times by like two different adults, and in every situation, I was like. You mean you're you're sending me from your presence right now, and you think I'm gonna come back with a weapon for you and receive a beating? I'm going out there and not coming back for a while. In three hours, you're not gonna be into whipping my ass. I, I'll see you <laughs> later when you're tired. We'll see, we'll see how much gas you got in you, mom. I know you worked all day, and now you're cooking and cleaning. I'm gonna go well, play. See, I, I didn't have that foresight. I thought, like as most kids, that like when dad came home or mom was home, that their mission was to punish you. Their mission was to find out what you did and, and spank you or something. And so I, also, I would be down there at the willow tree looking at it like, oh, this is a really nice girthy switch. Oh, that'll hurt <laughs> like a bitch. Well, I can't take this little undergrown mutant one or they'll know. And then you got to find a nice middle-of-the-pack switch. You, you, you fuck up every now and then as a kid and you get the little one thinking it doesn't hurt as much. You get the bigger one. The little one fucking like, whips around and like brings blood. Ah. Yeah, that's, a, that's a switch See, I, veteran move right there. Hey, you, I had you to get the one that has girth to it because it just hits you and just leaves a surface area. I had the benefit of, um, you know, we, we, had, we had like roughly 100 acres there. So, like, you know, if I had some shit with mom, I'm just going to go, like, get on my four wheeler or, you know, my, in a truck or go, I'm going to go. I'm going to drive away. I'm just going to leave. Like, at like, 10, you, you jump, jump in the truck at 10 and just drive away? Yeah, on the farm.